Hi and welcome and thank you for watching my video today on green screen and chroma key. Uh, Happy New Year, it's 2017 and uh, I hope you follow along and watch some of my new videos coming out this year. So today we're going to go over quickly what green screen is and chroma key and how we do much of the uh, videos that we're doing here. I'm going to show you step by step. We're using Pinnacle Studios uh, 20. This is their latest version with the patch actually and if you're not familiar with it um, get familiar with it. It's pretty uh, solid software with a lot of different features and plugins. Um, so let's get started. So here you can see the basic video of me in front of the green screen. Okay. Now how are we going to get me in a different environment or setting um, and get rid of the green screen. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you that. So I'm going to take a photo here. I'm going to drag it just below. All right. And keep in mind that this is on bottom and this is on top. Now what I need to do to this clip is I need to right click. I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor. And here you have the different uh, effects. So we have, you know, Transition In, uh, which has standard transitions, 2D, 3D. We have Corrections, Pan and Zoom. We have Effects, and we're going to go to the Effects. So let's go on over to Effects. All right. We have 2D Effects include you know cropping and 3d editor gpu hfx filter we have camera and we have color we have uh keyers and stereoscopic and 360 video and motion tracking today we're going to use keyers and we're going to go to studio chroma keyer so what do you see when i immediately hit that what you'll notice is it's recognizing that green is the color that I want to remove from the video. So I'm going to hit Studio Chroma Key. And over here is basically where the settings are. And you can manage the settings from here. It's under default. But it automatically removed the background for me. And you have the color tolerance setting and the saturation, softness, transparency, and spill suppression. So you may have to use these settings in order to adjust you know, depending on your color, uh, sorry, your lighting and the color. So if you change color tolerance, you know, you'll notice it goes back to green. And the more we go to the right, the green goes away. Okay, so that is basically putting a person in front of a picture. And the same thing you can do for video. Okay, so... You can see here, and we go in front of a picture. All right, and same thing you can do for video. All right, so let's watch part of this. But I will show you some examples of green screen. As you can see me on the green background now, um, the purpose of the green background or the blue background with blue screen is that we can actually make these colors simply go away. Okay, so you can still see me against the green screen, and the reason for that is because I'm going to show you what happens when I put myself in front of or remove the background and replace it with a picture or video. And in this case, I'm actually going to begin by putting on some different... I'm actually going to start putting on some green screen apparel, so you'll notice what happens here. And this is because of what I'm wearing, not any software. Um, here, under this video, I do have Open Effects Editor. And again, I did the video um, Studio Chroma Key effect. Okay? And you'll notice what happens. Okay, so I'm back. So what is it that you notice? So you'll notice my arms have been subtracted well out. And that's because I'm wearing these chroma key um, green 
gloves. And I'll remove them. Set my hands up to my elbows. I'll move further ahead, and you'll see I start removing them. And now you can see my hand showing. So it's basically taking out all the same colors out of the background and replacing it with the background image that I have here just below in the AV Track 6. Okay. Now, let's go on to the next clip here. And in this clip, I take a mask, which is the same color as the background. And I'll show you what happens when I do remove the chroma keying. What will happen and what will show. So let's do this and remove. And what do you say? You see me actually wearing that mask. All right. But I'm going to go back and watch. You see the mask not shown now because of chroma key. All right. So let's hit cancel and move ahead. Now you'll see me remove it. And removing it is basically going to show you my face. We go even further, okay? And I put glasses on, and the glasses show because they're not the same color as the background. And I start removing the green hood, and now you can see my face and my glasses. And better yet, we're going to go and do something else. I'm actually there, standing there, but you can't see me. Why? Because I'm wearing a green bodysuit, which is the same color as the background, or close to it. I'll start removing my hood, and you'll notice what happens. My face is shown. Okay? Now, if I cut the background back a little bit, Now you see it shows black. If I bring the background back over a bit, it's showing back on there. So this is essentially how you do um, chroma keying and green screening effects. Okay. I also did another um, video which was quite interesting and fun to do and this had to do with a prison and why did I choose a prison well pr the prison setting is interesting because not only are we putting an individual behind something or in front of something but we're putting behind so in this case we are going to utilize several different tracks. Track 1, Track 2, and Track 3. Now, Track 1 is going to be the actual video. Okay? This is the video I recorded in front of the green screen. So, this actually has the green screen or chroma key enabled. And I'll remove that to show you what that looks like. So, if I go to Studio Chroma Key... All right, and I'm going to hit trash. You'll notice that it's a background of green. Okay, now let me go back. Okay, and the background of green. But what I'm doing is I'm replacing the background of green with this image here. Okay, now if I was to remove this image, move it to the side, and show you what it looks like now it's just black okay I'll put this image back and what will you see well you'll see the background so remember that back part always has to go below the video that you recorded now for the for the image in the front which is the jail cell bars I'm gonna wanna put that on top okay I'll move it just to show you if it's not on top, 
been as pretty much an open prison. So let's go ahead and move this over and see what it looks like when it is put on top. All right, and we'll scroll over, and now you see myself in the middle as it's laid out in track 2 AV, and that's the video with the green screen. And track 1, which is on top, is the bar, and track 3, which is behind, is the back of the jail cell. Okay, so that's pretty much explanation for that. Um, and... I hope this helps you a little bit. Um, there are several other uh, settings you can uh, look into using, but in general you need to understand the way the tracks um, work and which images or video go on top, bottom, and which video segments you're going to add the effects to the chroma key. Any questions, please uh, message me. Um, Thank you for watching.